Are you ready to unleash the true power of the Vandal and become a headshot machine in Valorant? Well, today we're going to be diving deep into the world of this incredible rifle, showing you why mastering the Vandal can make you a force to be reckoned with. By the end of this video, you'll understand when to choose the Vandal over the Phantom, how it synergizes with specific agents and playstyles, and we'll even share some mind-blowing pro player clips to inspire your own Vandal mastery. In less than 10 minutes, you'll have all the information you need to master the Vandal. And for everything else you need to climb ranks and improve fast, there's skillcap.com. We take the highest priority skills to climb ranks fast, such as aiming, and then break it down into a step-by-step -step course that's easy to understand. You'll not only learn the basics, such as crosshair placement and clearing angles properly, but you'll also gather more advanced concepts, like getting more multi-kills and repositioning. These courses have been getting 5-star ratings from users just like you in your rank, and they're all raving about how helpful it's been to their gameplay. And that's not all, though as every week we release six brand new VOD reviews where Radiant coaches teach you how to climb out of the exact rank that you are stuck in. And if you're looking for something more personal instead, then we've got you covered with our brand new one-on-one -on -one coaching at our Skillcap Discord. All this seems too good to be true, right? Well, don't worry because we're backed up by a rank up guarantee. If you don't significantly improve while actively using Skillcap, then you get your money back and there's no questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and get the rank that you have always wanted. All right, now let's get into today's guide. One of the most common debates since the release of Valorant has been which rifle is better, the Vandal or the Phantom? The answer isn't quite as simple as you might think. Both of these rifles have their own pros and cons, such as fire rate, magazine size, and first bullet accuracy. And yes, in my humble opinion, I would say the Vandal is the better weapon. Now here's why. First of all, the Vandal actually has a worse first bullet accuracy than the Phantom. The Vandal has a .25 first shot in accuracy compared to the Phantom's .2 first shot in accuracy. Now this means if your crosshair is on someone's head, it's more likely that the bullet will miss if you're using the Vandal over the Phantom. The Phantom also has a faster fire rate and a suppressor, so you can't see the bullet tracers when spamming through a smoke and an easier to control spray pattern. The Phantom also has the ability to one bullet headshot an enemy in close range situations up to 15 meters, so it raises the question, why is the Vandal the most used rifle in VCT? The biggest advantage that the Vandal offers over the Phantom is definitely the one shot potential at any range which makes it the perfect weapon of choice for people who are confident in their ability to hit those headshots. The Vandal is the perfect rifle for a player who has the ability to aim well, since there's no damage drop-offs with the one-shot potential like the Phantom has. At medium to long range, you're actually almost always favored in winning the fight if you're precise enough. And on top of that, the damage that body shots do with Vandal is also still higher than the Phantom at long range. With the ability to take long duels with one-shot potential, it's especially strong on an agent like Jet or Reyna, who has the ability to take an early duel and escape back to safety. On maps like Pearl, it's likely you're going to take more long-range engagements, so using a Vandal is probably going to be your best option. Now, should you ADS while using the Vandal? The answer to this isn't one-dimensional, so there isn't really a correct answer here. In short, it's very situational, as while it increases first bullet accuracy on the Vandal, it also slows down your movement and fire rate. ADS is mostly useful if you're holding a long-range angle, as it helps you be more precise, but it can always make it harder to react to an enemy if they sneak up close to you. Certain angles I would suggest using the ADS on are B-Long on Pearl, or from Heaven to A-Short on Bind. In both of these situations, you have the ability to take a shot, and if you miss, you can back away into cover, which makes it very strong with the Vandal's one-tap potential. One of the biggest weaknesses that the Vandal has is its lack of versatility, and in the current map pool, most engagements you'll be taking will typically be at close to medium range. It also has bullet tracers, so spamming a smoke is really risky, and the Vandal's slower fire rate can make spraying a little less forgiving as opposed to if you were using a Phantom. I would also say that depending on the way you position yourself around the map and the agent that you're playing, using a Phantom is more likely to have multi-kill potential because of its higher 
fire rate. If you're struggling to choose between using the Phantom or Vandal, the decision you make should be based mostly on the agent you play, but I would personally suggest using the Vandal on Pearl. If you're a controller player, you should be using the Phantom, as you're typically going to be playing around your smokes and holding closer angles. If you play Sentinel, I would also suggest using the Phantom, since you're going to be mostly playing off your utility, which will either do chip damage or allow for you to safely spam an enemy. Initiators are very versatile agents, so I would typically suggest the Vandal if you play an agent like Ko, Sky, or Gecko, and the Phantom if you play Fade or Sova, since both of their abilities will allow you to do some chip damage in places where the Vandal may not be needed for a one-shot headshot. Finally, for all of my duelist mains, I almost always suggest using the Vandal, due to the fact that the one-shot potential is so strong for entering and can allow you to create space and open up the site with a single bullet. Your aiming style is also a big factor as well. If you find that you're constantly crouch spraying in every engagement you get into, the Phantom is probably your gun. Now we're going to show you an absolutely insane ace Laz from Zeta got against Fnatic. Moving what they have available. Now Laz, it's such a dirty angle and he's already gone. Nothing they can do to trade it, although Mystic was in spot, but then Laz hits the second shot as well. Yeah, this is something that you'll see from Jets in that position, oh but my. this guy oh my. already oh fell oh and needs to close it out. Wow! Oh, well, you, you. in this clip, you can really see the power of a Vandal at long range when you're able to really use its one-tap potential correctly with good movement and aim. Laz gets the first three frags, but is brought down to 30 HP and is able to one-tap the last two players to secure the ace in the round win while using the last bullet in his Vandal for the final frag. At this range, if he had a Phantom, he probably wouldn't have been able to convert either of those frags because even if he headshotted them, he would have most likely hit them for 140 and died. Instead, he precisely aims for their heads and uses strafing to his advantage to get the ace. Next, we're going to be showing you a nice clutch from Hiko. Live through this, there goes the paranoia. Cosmic divide coming into play. Hiko finds one. That was a completely isolated pick. Nitro holding inside the start cover. Backs away. Gravity well not forced. Hiko for a second. Hiko for a third. 1v1. Bang! Hiko for four and a hundred deep. He's currently in a 2v4 post plant situation with only 80 HP, so he knows he's going to need to isolate some fights if they want any chance of winning the round. He gets a nice frag in garage without taking any more damage and proceeds to double hold spawn with his teammate. He then hits a clean headshot on the Astra and strafes into cover, quickly repeaks and hits another headshot. If he had a Phantom instead of a Vandal in this clutch, he would have hit the Astra for 140 damage in this situation and got instantly traded by the Soba. But since he had the one shot potential of the Vandal, he was able to get the frag and quickly tuck into cover, which ended up catching the Sova off guard for the round win. In this clip, we have Scream, who is very well known for his one taps with the Vandal. One enemy remaining. <laughs> They're nothing to me. He's stuck on site in a 1v4 post-plant situation with a Vandal and no shields. He manages to isolate two 1v1s on the first two players and hit some clean headshots on them. The final two remaining players sprint up lane on him, so he uses the Radiantite boxes to isolate two more separate 1v1 engagements and show us how powerful the Vandal can be while in the hands of someone with good movement and precise aim. These clips showcase the strengths and versatility of the Vandal when used by skilled players. Now, ultimately, the choice between the Vandal and Phantom comes down to personal preference, playstyle, and the agent that you're playing. It's essential to consider the map, the types of engagements you'll be taking, and the agent's abilities to maximize the potential of the rifle that you choose. And regardless of which rifle you prefer, practice and experience will help you make the most out of each weapon's unique characteristics. In conclusion though, both the Vandal and Phantom have their respective strengths and weaknesses. While the Vandal excels in one-shot potential at any range, the Phantom offers a higher fire rate, a suppressor, and easier recoil control. 
Understanding the nuances of each rifle and adapting your playstyle and agent choice accordingly will ultimately help you make the most informed decision on which weapon to use in different situations. Keep practicing out there and remember that your personal skill and game sense will always play a crucial role in your success with either rifle. This was just a glimpse of what we have to offer though over at skillcap.com, where we've got you covered with dozens of tailor-made courses that will teach you everything you need to know about climbing in Valorant. We'll teach you everything you need to know about mastering your mechanics so that you can start playing at an immortal level in no time. Along with this, we also upload tons of VOD reviews each week that our coaches record from looking at players just like you. So rather than just paying for one $200 coaching session from one of those other guys, you can get access to hundreds of sessions for just a few bucks. Not only that, but our coaches are also at the ready in our Discord to take a look at your gameplay and tell you exactly what your issues are, if by chance you don't find value from all the other things we have to offer on the site. So use the link below for a discount link in your purchase today, and other than that, we here at Skillcapped want to thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.